I'm going to start to fabricate a ceramic tile and dental plaster tool to use for some rough hogging work on this 20 inch um, quartz mirror blank. Uh, this is going to be a 10 and a half inch tool. Uh, so the first thing I start with is a ring made out of MDF where the outside diameter is 10 and a half inches. I just routed this out of a sheet of MDF and uh, I have a whole set of rings like this for different diameters. I can use the outside at 10 and a half or the inside at 9.4. Uh, so this is going to be a 10 and a half inch tool, uh, again for some hogging. In the first step here, I've got this shelf paper. This is a adhesive back shelf liner paper. Uh, basically, I'll draw a ring on here and then uh, peel it off and use it to stick my tiles on to help me fabricate this tool. So you just draw a ring around it with pencil. The next step in fabricating this tool is to make a form which I can place the tiles in and then pour the dental plaster. I make that out of the same ring and the actual form itself will be made out of this thin plastic. Uh, you can get this stuff at sign making shops. It's uh, reasonably cheap. You might have to buy a whole sheet of it, but uh, I use it all the time for all sorts of things. So the quickest thing to do is just to tape it together with some uh, painter's tape. I just place a piece of tape on the bottom here and tape it onto the outside of my form and then just wrap it around. I'll put a piece of tape at the bottom here. Snug it up tight. And there's the form. Okay, as I said, this is going to be a grinding tool made out of ceramic tile and dental plaster. Now normally I start with a sheet, a flat sheet of these tiles. Uh, tiles come in a 12 inch square and these particular tiles are about 7 eighths of an inch uh, on edge and about an eighth of an inch thick. But for this quartz tool I need to do some real rough grinding. I have to use some heavy duty abrasives on it. And uh, if I made a tool out of these thin tiles, it would grind through and uh, be ruined after a fairly short period of time. So I need to make a different style of tool. So instead of using these flat ceramic tiles, what I've done is uh, to peel them off and go with the individual tiles. If you peel off a set of five of them, and stack them up, you have a roughly one inch cube of ceramic tile. And what I do is I take that uh, cube and I take a tiny little rubber band and put it around the, the top of the cube. And that holds my cube together, squared up. And these cubes, the edge of the cubes, will be the actual grinding surface. So I'm going to mold a tool with the edges of those down and I'll make up uh, several dozen of these uh, cubes and that will be the grinding surface. Okay, I've got the uh, tiles assembled on the top of the mirror now. Uh, once again I assembled in, in rows. There's little skewers in between. I've got it all inside uh, the circle where I'm going to put the cap over it, the mold over it, the form. And the next step will be to pull out all of the uh, skewers and all I'll have left will be the ceramic tiles. The last step on building the form here, the mold, is to put the uh, plastic form and the ring on there. Basically you just drop it carefully right over the top. Well, I'm ready to mix up the plaster to make this plaster and tile tool. Start with uh, Velmix Pink. Kerr. Very good product. The only thing I use, I'm going to put it in a bucket here in the sink. Mix it up with the paint mixer and uh, then pour it into our form that we made before.
Okay, it's been about an hour since we poured this uh, ceramic tile and dental plaster tool. Still got a little bit of heat to it, but it's pretty much uh, set now. <coughs> Loose on top of here. It's time to unmold it. Open this guy up here. There's our mold. Flip it over here. Oh, that weighs a ton. That's a good thing, Glenn. There's what the other side looks like. And we'll peel off the paper and see what we got. There you have it. We'll clean this up a little bit. I'll take a sure form around the edges of it here and knock off the corners a little bit. And that's a grinding tool. Okay, I've just uh, unmolded the demolded the tool here. First thing I do with it afterwards is to take a Sureform tool, which is a woodworking tool. It's like a raspy uh, sharp bottom on it. Just go around the outside and take off the sharp corner there so it won't hurt your hands when you use it. And we'll flip that over and do the other side as well. 